Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll be walking you through how to update your WordPress site name in Google SERPs. And if you're brand new to all this, SERPs stands for Search Engine Results Pages, and having the correct site name in Google SERPs is important for several reasons, but some of the big ones are brand recognition, professionalism, and credibility. It also helps avoid confusion and provides an improved user experience. And in a digital age where first impressions matter greatly, ensuring that your website's name is correctly displayed in Google SERPs is an essential step towards establishing your online presence and reputation. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. It helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so there are a couple ways to go about this. The first is to add your site name with structured data. And Google actually provides some detailed documentation showing you how to do this. However, as you can see, it's somewhat technical and may seem intimidating if you're brand new to WordPress. But Name Hero actually has a great article that I'll link to in the video description below that simplifies the process of adding this structured data code to your homepage. But again, it's not really for beginners and there is a much easier way to do this by using the Yoast SEO WordPress WordPress plugin. That's what I personally use and recommend, and once you see how easy it is to implement, I'm sure you'll agree that it's the way to go. So let me show you how that's done. Okay, first things first, let's head over to my WordPress website. And once again, what we're gonna be updating is the site title. And as you can see, I have it set to Ignite Fitness with the tagline, Get Fit and Have Fun. And currently, this is what Google will use in the search engine results page. But let's say I don't necessarily want them to use this and I wanna use a title that displays some keywords that I'm trying to rank for. Well, that's where the Yoast SEO plugin comes into play. And if you don't have that plugin, you'll wanna install and activate it. Just head over to your WordPress dashboard. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. Then in the search field, type Yoast. And then it should be the first plugin listed there. Simply install and activate it right there from the management page and you'll be ready to go. Now I should point out that if this is your first time using the plugin, there will be some first time configurations that you'll be prompted to take care of. You can skip those for now and come back to them after we update the SEO site title. Also, I have a Yoast configuration tutorial that you could check out at the Blog Within YouTube channel that walks you through the whole Yoast plugin configuration if you're a first time user, just FYI. But either way, once it's installed and activated, you can easily update your homepage's search appearance in the Yoast settings. So to get there, once again on the left hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over Yoast SEO and click on settings. And this will obviously bring you to the plugin settings. Now real quick, I just want to point out that Yoast recently updated the settings interface that you're looking at right now, which I'm actually a huge fan of. It's much more visual and easier for novices to use and navigate and learn how to improve their site's SEO in the process. So when you have some extra time, I highly recommend browsing these updated settings. Okay, so the reason we're here right now is to update the homepage's search appearance, specifically the site title and meta description. So within the Yoast settings on the left-hand side of the screen, under the content types section, click on homepage. And this brings you to the homepage SEO settings where you have the ability to determine how your homepage should look in the search results and on social media. Now, we're only updating the search appearance in this video, but I highly recommend updating the social media appearance as well when you have some extra time. Okay, so I'm sure you're also noticing how much easier this looks when compared to the structured data code that we briefly covered at the beginning of the video. The Yoast SEO plugin streamlines a lot of the technical aspects of SEO and does a lot of the heavy lifting so that you can optimize your site for the search engines with minimal effort. And all you're gonna do here is type what you want your title and meta description to be in the search results in those two fields provided. Now, Yoast does give you the ability to use what they call variables. These are like tags that display certain aspects of text and you can try them by clicking the insert variable buttons, but I personally like having the control to type exactly what I want. So for the SEO title in that field, I'm gonna type ignite fitness dash digital workouts. And this is where you'll obviously type your SEO title as well. Then in the meta description box below that, I'll type a preview of my site. 
And this is where you'll want to be sure to use keywords and make it enticing to help improve your click-through rate. And there we go. Then once you're done, click the Save Changes button towards the bottom of the screen. And in a few seconds, you should get a notification that your homepage SEO settings have been saved. Awesome. All right, next, I recommend doing some quick QAing and testing to make sure that everything was updated correctly. So first, if we visit the front end of the site, and then if you look at the browser tab for my homepage, you'll see that it's pulling from Yoast and using the updated SEO title that I just edited. You'll also see that my WordPress site title and tagline within my site have remained the same. So this tells me that the plugin did its job and so far, so good. Now, if you're not seeing the updated title here in the browser tab, I recommend clearing your cache and refreshing the page. And if you're using Name Hero web hosting, then you'll benefit from the Lightspeed server and caching plugin. It'll be automatically installed, and within your WordPress admin toolbar at the top of the screen, simply hover your mouse over the Lightspeed icon and click on Purge All. This will flush the cache, and the updated SEO title should appear in the Browser tab. The next way to verify that everything is working properly is to inspect the source code of the page. Now, I'm using Chrome, and they have dev tools that allow you to do this, but it's a pretty common feature in all browsers. Firefox and Safari both have it as well. And all you'll do here is right click anywhere on the page and then from the menu, select inspect. And this will open the elements panel where you can inspect the source code of the current page that's open in your browser. Then what I'm gonna do here is double check the source code to ensure that it's using the updated SEO title and meta description. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is the code that the Google bots crawl when indexing your site. So if this code is using the updated title and meta tags, then that tells me that Google will, or should, use the updated title and meta description in the search results. And one quick way to check is to use the find shortcut. Simply place your cursor anywhere in the elements panel and I'm on a Mac so I'm pressing Command F on my keyboard. And this opens a search bar where if I type the word digital, remember I updated the SEO title to say Ignite Fitness Digital Workouts. And as you can see, the source code's title and meta tags are using the new and updated SEO title and meta description. Perfect, so that is reassuring. All right, then the final thing I recommend doing is if you haven't done so already, submit your sitemap to Google. And one of the many reasons why I love Yoast is that they automatically create your sitemap for you. All you have to do is literally copy and paste it to your Google Search Console account. Now, if you don't have a Google Search Console account, no worries, it's free. And I have a step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you how to set it up and verify your domain so that you can begin using it to do things like submit your sitemap to Google. So if you don't have a Google Search Console account, I highly recommend that you watch my other tutorial so that you can set it up properly before submitting your sitemap. Either way, once you have your Google Search Console account associated with your domain, this is how you'll submit your sitemap. So first things first, let's head back to the WordPress dashboard. Then your sitemap is located in the Yoast SEO settings. So once again, hover your mouse over Yoast SEO on the left-hand side of the screen and click on settings. Then staying on the site features page, scroll down to the very bottom to the API category and you'll see the XML sitemaps card. Now by default, it should be turned on, but if it isn't, just flip that switch on to enable it. Then to access your sitemap, Click that button that says view the XML sitemap. And this will open a new browser tab with your sitemap. Now, depending on how your site is structured, there may be multiple sitemaps listed here, but the one you want to submit to the search engines is in the browser bar at the top of the screen. Simply copy that and then head over to your Google Search Console account. And in the side nav on the left-hand side of the screen, click on sitemaps. And then where it says add a new sitemap, Simply paste the sitemap URL and click the submit button. Then the last and final way to ensure that Google is using the updated site title and meta description in SERPs is to do a site search. Simply put, a site search is performed on a search engine and allows you to search one domain, not the entire internet, for a term. And it's super simple. Just go to your favorite search engine, I'm in Google, and type the word site followed by a colon and then your site's domain with no spaces in it. It'll look like this. Then when you send it through Google, 
the search results will only display content from that domain. Typically, the homepage will be the first one on the list, and this will tell you whether or not Google has indexed your site and whether or not it's using the updated SEO title and meta description. Now for the example in this video, I used a demo site that wasn't indexed. So that's why we're looking at the site search for my personal blog, Blog with Ben, and not the Ignite Fitness example that we went through in this video. But if you're not seeing the new title and meta description here, don't worry, sometimes it takes Google a while to crawl and update the search results. Could be a few days, could be a few months, but if you followed all the steps in this tutorial, you are definitely in a much better position for your updated site title to appear in Google SERPs. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.